Hey there, guys. Brinkomatic here. And just the other day, I watched a video by uh, somebody. I don't, I, I don't know. I can't remember his name. It starts with an S. Spanksky or something like that. Who uh, played through Golgo 13 Top Secret episode. And along with that, I've had someone suggest Golgo 13, the Mafat conspiracy, to me a few times. So I figured, hey, if somebody can play through Top Secret episode, I can at least give the Mafat conspiracy a shot. So here we are, controlling, eventually, Golgo 13 as he investigates whether or not the Mafat revolution is involved in all this crap that I've been ignoring because the story is kind of dumb. If you don't know anything about Golgo 13, he is an assassin for hire, the main character of a manga that has been running for a very long time in Japan. And he has killed people in very ridiculous ways. Including through this tech scroll. But he is most commonly known for sniping people with his custom sniper rifle. Seen here. So I'm going to admit, I have not played through this game in its entirety. I'm not sure I'll be able to play through this game in its entirety. But I'm going to give it my best shot. I have played through the first two acts. So we will see some progress, at least. I'm digging the Golgo 13 theme, also. Anyways. We push start. Get more cutscene and more text. So this guy invented the satellite capture system and has been abducted. Possibly by the Mafat conspiracy group. But we don't know! And by conspiracy, I mean revolutionary. So this game came after Top Secret episode, I believe. The graphics have gone up a couple of levels. And a lot of design decisions have changed here and there. I'll go over some of them once we actually get into the game proper. First, we need this blonde man to keep talking at us for the next day or so. And by us, I mean talking to this shadow. So our mission. Rescue the Doctor, defeat the Mafat leader, and destroy the ca satellite capture system. How hard could that be? Also, Duke's famous catchphrase of silence. He's still not super convincing. So I'll see what I can do. Gotta go to the Arc de Triomphe. And with that, starts Act 1. So, much like 
top secret episode. There was a lot of walking. Kicking people. Things that are different. Our health bar is a health bar and not a number. Whoops. Getting shot this early is a good start. You can refill the health bar not by murder anymore, but sometimes, rarely in my experience, the enemies will drop a health pickup. They will also eventually drop bullets, but we don't have a gun right now. That is the python that was mentioned in the cutscene. Other things that will not happen, we can't go into random buildings. We are not going to get shot at and go into a first-person scene completely at random. going, James. <clears throat> and now we actually have our gun, the python, and I can talk about one of the other changes. Also, we know where the hideout is now, but we can't get in. It has been electronically secured. So we'll have to find some way around that. Why didn't you do that beforehand, buddy? With a gun, we can now hold a maximum of 30 bullets. A little less than the 400 from the Top Secret episode. Again, we don't get bullets from murdering people. Well, we do, but we don't automatically get them. Sometimes they will drop little bullets on the ground for us to pick up. Also, we can duck. And it's very important to do so. Also, bullets hurt a lot. And now we've murdered a half of the population of Paris. Go open the eastward window. <clears throat> oh, but don't think that this game only has side scrolling segments and Duke not talking to people appropriately. There's more to this game than that. Also, now we got dudes throwing knives instead of guns. The knives actually hurt less, but there are a ton of these dudes. Also, they can jump really high. Also, some of them will throw grenades, because they're huge jerks. I am about to die. Nope, and there it goes. So when you die in this, you can continue. It dumps you back at the start of the segment you died on. I'm not sure if there is a continue limit in this, we'll probably find out. If there is, that will probably be... where I give up. 
So you might have noticed there has not been a single health pickup so far. When I said they were pretty rare, I wasn't kidding. Oop. Okay, apparently I was wrong and you can go into some random buildings. I did not know you could enter this one, and we should not have. And as you got a little preview there. The first person segments from Top Secret Episode are still here. They fixed that blinking problem. Unfortunately, in long hallways like this one, that makes it basically impossible to tell that you're moving. They also did not fix the problem of these segments being in the game because they're garbage. Still, there is no in-game map. You just have to figure it out. And let me tell you, it took a long time for me to figure out what this wanted me to do. And that's my laundry finishing. Whoops. I'll have to deal with that after this. So there is a compass. Which is better than nothing, I guess? And I just got shot. I'm probably- oh, hey, health. There's a pretty good chance I'll die in here. Because these segments are not easy. Let's see... I think I want to go this way. Other fun fact, if you run out of ammo in these segments, as far as I can tell, you're completely screwed if you run into an enemy, because there's no way to back up away from them, and they will just kill you. Okay, yeah, this looks right. And we want to go this way, I think? You can avoid damage in these segments most of the time by just being fast. Okay, then we want to go, I think, this way? With everything looking roughly the same, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm not 100% certain if the enemies are set in this, or if they are random. And yes, third floor. This floor! Oh man, this floor confused me for a while. Let me tell you the secret to it. It is 100% yeah, symmetrical. Both halves of it look exactly the same. But there is a secret. If you just go through this series of doors... until there are no more doors in front of you. Hang a left. There is the exit to the fourth and final floor. I want that health. Okay. Now, the fourth floor's main attempt to trick you is by having doors all over the place. Most of them don't matter. I went into all these, and they are just there to drain you. What you want to do instead is just kind of go over here. And in this door... Oh, my bad. This door. 
we find this man. I, I think it's a man. He's an arm. The arm. We find this arm. Oh, well, that's unfortunate, I, I guess. It seems weird that the scientist was able to just commandeer a helicopter. But, you know, whatever. And that leads us into boss segment. This segment is obnoxious because up is jump. I am probably going to die the first time. Yep. These segments kind of control terribly. Also, you can skip the cutscenes, which I will. You might also notice that he hits way harder. This is the secret to bosses. Just pin them in the corner, which is actually kind of tricky. But once you got them there, they're just screwed. There's nothing they can do. But yeah, there is... You are, life is over. And he wasn't kidding! There is a time limit now. We have to get all the way back out. Hope you remember the route. Saving grace is, I don't think there are any enemies on the way back. I don't remember. But yeah, if you only, like, blindly bumbled your way through... Good luck finding your way back quickly! I had to manually kind of map this place out, especially this floor, to figure out what I was missing. Because for some reason I just never went into the correct door, and I don't know why. I think it was because I kept going up and down this hallway, and then turning and seeing, oh, there's a door next to me. I just saw that, so this must be the same place again, because I'm stupid. I think I remember where we're going. This way. Should be a door coming up on the left. Yeah, there it is. And we can go through here. secretly go through this incredibly long hallway again, and we're out with plenty of time to spare. Eventually. See ya. And that's Act 1. Act 2 is pretty short, so maybe I'll just do this one real quick, too. Because I have played through this one, and it has the last type of gameplay available. And it's awful. I hate it. Well, the last two types of gameplay. One part is awful. The other part's... The other, the other part's a thing as well. Not as awful. Cold War is happening. Hey, hey, you remember the Cold War? That's the thing that's happening. 
is basically this cutscene. And Duke just giving this KGB guy the cold shoulder. He's got nothing to say to this Russian. there. Also, all this politics is too much for Golgo. I don't care. Just give me my money for my job and I'll do it. Don't care if I have to die a bunch of times in the process, I will do it. Also, I guess he was here this whole time just kind of hanging out in the shadows. <sighs> ah, so the scientist, quote, escaped end quote, to Venice, I suppose. I can't tell how much of this is purposefully being obtuse and how much of it is bad translation. This is an old enough game that it's Possibly equal parts. Also, cool thing, no health restore between acts. Which means I am highly likely to die. There it is. Luckily, the guys on the awnings in this part don't have grenades, so they just fire their guns endlessly. And maybe step on your face. Also, Vic. game was produced by Vic Tokai. Oh god, the slowdown. Okay. Too many bullets. Speaking of Tokai, here it is. So yeah, you remember how in the Adventures of Bayou Billy there were driving segments? Here are some more. Also, take note, you have multiple gears. I did not notice this the first time, and you do not have enough time to not notice that. You can also throw grenades. They have an awkward hitbox I can't quite figure out. Some of the other cars will throw grenades at you, and if you get blown up by a grenade, you spin out for a bit. I don't know if it's just me being bad, but they give you just barely enough time to pull this off.
And then you're dumped right into this. Apparently we're being chased by a man in a helicopter. By the KGB guy, no less. And now it's time for sniping. What, uh, Golgo's best known for. Hope you're ready for this. By the way, did I mention you get one shot? And there is no wind? Okay. Normally you're supposed to take the wind into account, and we're trying to shoot this man. Right in the face. With no wind, that made it real easy. Yeah, you get one shot. You miss. Guess what? Game over. Time to continue, and that means do the driving part over again. So this is as far as I've gotten. And after our plot cutscene, I think we will call it a video. I think that's about a third of the game done. It's shorter than Top Secret Episode, also. But Top Secret Episode is pretty... full of padding. Needless padding. Anyways, next time, let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. Later, guys.